Thank you all again for joining me on my learning journey. As a reminder, T2L Academy is an initiative I started with the mission of teaching to learn. So I learn and then I share with you and teach so that I can learn better and hopefully in the process, I can help you learn too. So today we are gonna be going over the sixth problem from the AMCA 2019 test. So some of the topics that this test really goes over, that this problem from this test really goes over are geometry and probability. Let's get started. There are 81 grid points uniformly spaced and the square shown in the diagram below, including the points on the edges. Point P is in the center of a square. Given that point Q is randomly chosen among the other 80 points, what is the probability that line PQ is a line of symmetry for the square? So I encourage you to go ahead, take a minute, try this problem on your own, and then come back and hit play whenever you're ready. So I'm assuming you've given it a go. Let's get started. So the way I would really do this is I would go ahead and say, okay, the probability in this case would be the number of desired outcomes, desired outcomes over the number of total possible outcomes. So the number of total possible outcomes they're saying, they're telling us here is 80 because they're saying that there are 80 other points that, P, that point Q will be placed among. So your answer will be out of 80. Next, to find the desired outcomes. What I would do, what I would start to do is start, you know, just drawing out the different lines of symmetry for the square and seeing how many points fall on those lines and how many points will meet the criteria of falling on a line of symmetry. So let's draw, draw out our possible points for Q here. So once we finished this, okay, so now, now we have the number of, the number of lines. And the reason why I'm not including P in each of these lines, you might be curious, is because it says that Q will not overlap with P. It's saying Q will be one of the other 80 points other than P. So each, what I would, I, I noticed this here is that there are four points in every line, four points in every line. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lines. So we multiply four by eight, we get 32 over 80. All we have to do now is simplify to get the answer to this problem on our AMC8 test. What I noticed first here is that both are divisible by 16. Divide them out and you get, you get two over five. Of course, there are other ways to reach two over five if you didn't notice directly the 16 correlation there, but eventually when you simplify out, you should get two over five. And that means our answer to this problem is C. So that's it for this learning. Thank you for joining me. I'll deeply appreciate it if you leave your comments, feedback, and further suggestions for additional learnings below. And as always, please subscribe and click for notifications so that you can join me on my learning journey and we can all be lifelong learners.